Hi everyone, Sam here from SugarSpunRun.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make big bakery style chocolate chip muffins. To start, you're going to need a quarter cup of melted unsalted butter, as well as a quarter cup of either canola oil or vegetable oil. We're going to use a blend of these two so that you get the softest muffins possible while also getting the best flavor. Go ahead and combine these two ingredients in a large mixing bowl. Add one cup of granulated sugar and use a whisk to stir these together until they're well combined. We're going to use an egg as well as an additional egg white. So this is one large egg plus one large egg white. Using the extra white helps make our muffins extra fluffy. And add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Next you'll need a half cup of buttermilk. Add this to your wet ingredients and stir until they're really well combined. Now set this aside. Now we'll combine our dry ingredients. You'll need one and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour, as well as two teaspoons of cornstarch. Remember, cornstarch is a really important ingredient for nice, soft baked goods. You'll also need two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. Stir these together. Now we'll add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. I always like to do this by hand using a spatula rather than an electric mixer because it's really important to not overmix your ingredients. I add all of the dry ingredients. Very gently fold your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. When your ingredients are about halfway combined, go ahead and add your chocolate chips. I use a cup and a half of chocolate chips and I use a mix of regular sized semi-sweet chocolate chips and mini semi-sweet chocolate chips. Fold these into the batter as well. It's important to not overmix this batter, so if you still see a little bit of flour in the mixture, that's okay. Now take a clean towel and cover your batter. Allow it to rest for 15 minutes before scooping it into your muffin tin. While your batter is resting, go ahead and line a large six count muffin tin with paper liners, or you can grease and flour the muffin tins. This recipe makes six large muffins, but you could also make 12 regular sized muffins if you prefer. Once your dough has finished resting, go ahead and portion it into your muffin liner, filling each liner all the way full without overflowing. Now go ahead and place these in an oven that's been preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so you're going to bake these muffins on 425 degrees Fahrenheit for eight minutes. Then, after those eight minutes have passed, do not open your oven door, but reduce the heat of your oven down to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and continue to bake your muffins for another 15 minutes or until they're lightly golden brown on top. This is an important step because starting to bake them on that high heat causes your muffins to really rise and give you those nice tall tops. And then reducing the heat allows the centers to cook completely without burning the muffins. That way you get big muffins that are nice and tall but still soft on the inside. When your muffins are finished baking, they'll have nice tall muffin tops and be slightly golden brown around the edges. And that is how you make big bakery style soft chocolate chip muffins. I think you guys are going to love this recipe. It's one of the most highly rated recipes on my blog. They are so soft inside, so flavorful, and it's pretty much a foolproof recipe. So go ahead, try it out, let me know what you think, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.